if you may just sit down it's all right all the way from zimbabwe from the hq from the heart of the church from the office of our, fa of our father and they have landed in dubai for a purpose that god has only designed ladies and gentlemen we just want to welcome them in a special way I don't know if you're gonna ululet, celebrate, jump around, yeah. shout hallelujah, praise the Lord. We want to welcome them this night and this conference in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah! We want to make a joyful noise as we hear the glory ladies and gentlemen tonight is a wonderful night i want you to get ready to hear the word of the lord and god is gonna be speaking to us evangelist k and j guarimbo are amphic postgraduates they are missionaries who have traveled extensively god has used them to touch lives through the gift of healing and prophecy they are explo speakers who have been to south africa st Kitts and nevis Trinidad and Tobago, Barbados, Jamaica, Australia, just to mention a few. Currently, there are local pastors at Westgate Local Church and also pursuing a degree in social studies. They are blessed with four beautiful kids. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So tonight, they are going to be ministering to us just after the present worship team uh, his ministers with a worship song, and then they will come and take over. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus, we thank you, Yahweh. We worship you, God, tonight. We thank you, Yahweh. We worship you, Father. We just want to exalt your name tonight, God. Yahweh, there is no other God like you. You are the God, the God of Ezekiel. We worship you tonight. We want to exalt the name of God, for there is no other God like Him. In every situation, in every situation, whatever you have been through, He has been there. He died on the cross for you and me. Tonight, we want to exalt His name. For there is no other name that we can be exalted. We thank you, Jesus. We exalt your holy name. We exalt your holy name. El Shaddai. Don't 
your name. We exalt your name, Jesus. Yes, we exalt your name. We exalt your name. El Shaddai. El Shaddai. El Shaddai. You are worthy, Lord. El Shaddai.
Makatalaba. Lift up your hands wherever you are. Give him the praise. Give him the praise. Worship him. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray in the Spirit. Come on, lift his name on high. Lift his name on high. His name is Yahweh. His name is the King of Glory. He's the name above any other name. Come on, give him the praise. 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 Come on, give him the praise. He's worthy. Kayamosha. He's worthy. Retelebosa. He's worthy. Retelebosa. The God of Ezekiel is worthy. Come on, raise his name. Leave his name. Leave his name. The kingdom of God. Kayaba Sanda Rabakataya. Retelebo Sanda Rabakataya Bakata Baba 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 Katala Bakataya Hatelebekate. Rebekate Lebe Sahanda Rabakata Bora Bakataba. Baba 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 Katalaba. Rebekate Lebe Sahanda Kura Bakataya Baba Baba Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. We worship. Everything starts with you. And everything ends with you. Sure worthy. Sure worthy. to ask our overseer to pray. Share la baha mohore la baha tete ya mahate. Rea re la ka mohota share la ka mohote ya mahare la hare. Ndea ka mohora kata mahasha. More la baha nde ndea ka mohota ma re la hate. Rea shaka mohonda mahare la baha tete ya. Reta shaka mohore la baha tete Rende ndeaka mohonda karela bahare la hate reasha kamohota kamaha ta rela morela 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 reka bohosha ndende akabohota maha reta sharela kabohota karela kabohota kamande ndeaka ha ndeaka mohosha Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for speaking to us. Thank you for the anointing. Thank you, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 God, thank you, praise and worship. Um, I want to greet you all tonight. Uh, we are so excited. We are so happy that uh, God has allowed us to be here in Dubai. We know and we believe that it is the plan of God. It is not the plan of any man. Uh, I was saying to myself, normally first days are hard, but tonight is like the last day of the conference. Yeah, 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 cause of the anointing, the heaviness of the anointing. Oh, and even here, it's, it's burning here. At the pulpit, it's burning. Uh, I'm not going to waste time. We are going to go into the word of God, but allow me to honor the pastors. Pastors uh, Farai and Pastor Titi. Oh, lovely. These are shepherds. These are pastors. They are kuneva fundis because we are pastors. These are pastors. They are pastors after God's own heart. We love you, pastors, men and women of God. Thank you. We love you. We also love our overseer. Wow, I'm so humbled, Baba Indamai, by your humility. 
Wow, it's just so amazing to have you here with us tonight. Thank you for such love and such reception. Uh, we want to love our overseers. We love them. We want to greet them in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> Allow me to share the word of God. We want to share the word of God. Now, um, you are going to hear my wife. She's going to share tomorrow. I'm married, by the way, Pastor Jackie. There she is. That's my wife. You're going to hear her tomorrow. She's a powerful teacher of the word of God. I am what I am because of her. Um, there is power in the word of God. Our father always says that everything is wrapped up in the word of God. When you receive the word of God, not as the word of man, it's going to do something into your spirit. When you are hungry and when you are thirsty, there's something that happens into your spirit. So there's a scripture that God just placed in my heart that I'm going to share with you. Of course, this weekend, the weekend about Jesus Christ. Matthew chapter 16, verse 13, 14. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Matthew chapter 16. When Jesus came into the course of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, Whom do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? And they said, Some say you are John the Baptist. Some say you are Elijah. And others say you are Jeremiah or one of the prophets. He said unto them, But whom do you say that I am? And Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. And verse 17, And Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed art thou, Simon, by Jonah, for flesh and blood. He has not revealed this unto thee, but my Father in heaven. He has revealed this to you. And I say unto thee, Thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Verse 19. And I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven. And whatsoever you shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever you shall loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. I don't know. Normally, when we are preaching to Pentecostal people, they run ahead of the preacher and they get what the meaning of the scripture is saying. But from the look of things, this church that I have been invited to come and minister to is a church that is full of prophets, uh, prophets and evangelists that are already feeling. But Simon, whom do you say that I am? Are you hearing me? But whom do you say I am? I, was, I, I wish I was in Nigeria, but I know they are watching me from Nigeria. They are jumping up and down and making some noise. To buy. Who do you say that I am? And Simon Peter says, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. And Jesus said, answered and said, blessed art thou. Simon by Jonah for flesh and blood he has not revealed. Jesus was walking in the course of Caesarea Philippi. And he was walking in the course of Caesarea Philippi. He asked them, guys, uh, who do people say that I am? Because it's not wrong to ask people who they say about you. Because at times you need to know what they are saying about you. But whatever they are saying about you does not determine your future. Whatever they say about you does not determine your tomorrow it's okay to know what they are saying about you but whatever they are saying does not tell you who you are are you hearing me so it's okay to ask them but who do people say i am what are people saying about me because whatever they are saying some of the things are there to destroy your spirit and some of the things are there to elevate you but whatever they are saying about you it must not determine your tomorrow because your tomorrow is not determined by what people say about you but your tomorrow is determined by what revelation says about you or can i have a crazy church in here who do men say i am somebody shout yeah
The problem is that evangelists were preaching here. So we need to flow with the evangelists. Who do men say I am? Who do men say I am? I don't know the reason why Jesus was asking this question. Because Jesus, maybe he was seeing that there are some people that were doubting him. Some people that were, it was a problem. Because even when Jesus performed miracles, they continued to doubt him. Even when he continued to feed the 5,000, they continued to doubt him. Even when he continued to feed the 4,000, 4, they continued to doubt him. So he says, guys, can you tell me what are people saying about me and they say some say you are Elijah some say you are Jeremiah some say you are John the Baptist some say you are one of the prophets Toma, who do you say I am? Are you hearing me? Jesus does not just dwell on what people are saying. He says, but who do you say I am? I see the disciples looking at each other. I see the disciples looking at each other. Then Peter says, ah, thou art the Christ, the son of the living God. And Jesus says, Peter, flesh and blood has not revealed this unto you, but my father in heaven has revealed this unto you. Hear me tonight. I'm here to tell somebody that the things of God they are not flesh and blood. The things of God they are not flesh and blood. The things of God they are understood by revelation. You gotta have revelation to understand the things of God. You gotta have revelation to understand the ways of God. Somebody shout yeah! Thou art Christ, the son of the living God. Hi, 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 hi. Are you hearing me? Thou art the Christ, the son of the living God. Then Jesus says, Oh, blessed art thou, Simon by Jonah. The blessing upon Simon did not just come without confession. The blessing upon Simon did not come without a revelation. He needed to have revelation, then a blessing would come. The problem with many of us, we need a blessing, but we don't have revelation. You can have revelation on the God of Ezekiel. You can have revelation on the God you are serving. Then when you get revelation, then he says, blessed are thou, Simon by Jonah. Flesh and blood has not revealed this unto you. You will never know God by going to school. You will never know God through theory, but you will know God by revelation. Are you hearing me, somebody? If you want to grow, you're going to know him by revelation. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hey, 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 hey. Listen, 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 listen. Administrator, the people who know God through revelation are different from people who know God through theory. Are you hearing me? Because those who know God through theory, when you don't greet them on Sunday, they will backslide. Are you hearing me? When you ignore them on Sunday, they will backslide. But those who know God by revelation, when you talk about them, they will not backslide. When you ignore them, they will not backslide. Why? Because I know they are God. Somebody shout here! Ah, come on somebody, come on somebody Are there some people who know their God in here? Are there some people who know their God? I do not know God by theory I know God by revelation He touched me He healed me He delivered me I met God before I met a preacher Ah, Baba Kuti says, I met God before I met a preacher. Because when you meet God before you meet a preacher, even when things are not okay, you will stay in the church. Even when you go through fire, you will stay in the church. Even when you suffer, you will stay in the church. Because you know God. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Are there some people who know their God in here? Then Daniel says, those who know their God, they shall do exploits. When you know God, you are unshakable. When you know God, you cannot backslide. Somebody shout hallelujah!
The people who know their God are going to do exploits. They are not going to be ordinary. Are you hearing me? Uh, I, I hear the Lord saying, I'm looking for people who know God more than they know elder. Uh, I, I'm looking for people who know God more than they know pastor. I'm looking for people who know God more than they know. You don't need to Google God. Google God. You don't Google God. You go through experience with God. Come on, somebody. You go through experience with God. People who have gone through experience with God, even their faces can tell, even the way they pray can tell, even the way they worship tells, because they know God. They have suffered, but they did not die. They have been tempted, but they did not die. I shall not die, because they know their God. That's why, that's why this weekend, God is looking for people who say, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. Even when I come for Monday prayer and there are two people, I do not go home because I know whom I have met. I know God. I don't pray because you pray. I don't come to church because you come to church. I don't worship because you worship. But I worship because I have met God. Who do you say I am? Yeah. Look at your neighbor. Say, Kara Pakataya. Zaurata Kayapa. Hey, come on. Look at your neighbor. Say, Praise the Lord. Who do you say I am? The way you are just quiet when the move of God is moving in the church. Who do you say I am? The way you look like a lady, you look like a gentleman, and we are crazy in this presence. Who do you say I am? Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Listen to me, we know him. That's why we are not quiet. We know him. I had asthma, he healed me. I had cancer, he healed me. I had TB, he healed me. I was poor. I'm now richer. I know the God of my father. You feel it, mommy? You feel it, mommy? You feel it, mommy? I'm looking for a generation of crazy believers who know their God. I'm looking for a generation of crazy believers who are crazy for God, who know God more than the preacher. My friend, when you have walked with God, when you have walked with God, even when we take the eldership from you, you will come on Sunday. You will praise the Lord. Because you do not know elder, but you know God. Somebody shout revelation. Shout revelation. Oh, David says, if it wasn't for the Lord, the enemy would have eaten us alive. But God saved me. When God saves you, we saw God. Sorry, we, we, we saw God. We saw God. We are not here because of nobody. We are here because we saw God. Tonight, who do you say I am? In your trouble, who do you say I am? In your problem, who do you say I am? Somebody shout hallelujah. Who do men say the son of many? Some say you're Elijah. Some say you're Jeremiah. Some say you're one of the prophets. Can one of the prophets walk on water? Can one of the prophets feed 5,000? What's wrong with these people? What's wrong? Have they ever seen Moses walking on water? 
They have never seen Elijah walking on water. What is wrong with these people? What is it? But anyway, let me just ignore them. How about you? You have been walking with me all this while. Huh? You sleep where I sleep. You eat what I eat. So who do you say I am? I don't know. Judas was also there. Hey, Judas was also there. But, but, but who, who do you say? You come every Sunday. You come every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. You are always here. But who really do you say I am? In Dubai tonight, the Holy Spirit is saying, but who do you say I am? And Peter says, thou art the Christ, the son of the living God. I want you to hear what Jesus says. Jesus says, mm -hmm. What you have just said, flesh and blood, has not revealed this unto you. Because the things of God are not flesh and blood. The problem with you is that you want to understand God in the flesh. That's why you are complaining. That's why you are fighting in the flesh. That's why you are jealous. That's why you are bitter. That's why you are angry because you are trying to understand God in the flesh. When you go in the flesh, you cannot find God. You cannot find God in blood. You cannot find God in the flesh. But when you get into revelation, that's where you will find him. Are you hearing me? Decrees will not determine God. Diploma will not determine God. PhD will not determine God. Doctorate, professorship will not explain God. He is unexplainable. He is indescribable. He makes a way where there is no way. He is the king of glory. He is God who came in the flesh. You cannot understand him. Revelation only can understand God. Over here. Especially the God of this church. You can never understand him. Because you find God taking a stupid person and anointing him. God taking a foolish person and raising her up. When you're in the flesh, you will not understand. Are you hearing me? Can we continue? Then he says, flesh and blood has not revealed this unto you. But my father in heaven, after 10 days from now, somebody is about to receive revelation. Somebody is about to pray in revelation. Somebody is about to worship in revelation. That's why, my brother, when you come to church, there are some people, others are crying in the spirit, but others are dry. They are on their phones. Why? They do not understand the levels that we are in. But when you are in revelation, you switch off your phone. You take your phone aside and you begin to praise him and you begin to worship him. Why is it revelation? Yeah, of course. Have you ever seen that there are some people that we are different even tonight? Others don't understand what I'm saying. <laughs> but when you've got revelation, you catch it in the spirit. You catch it in the spirit. What, what, what is he trying to say? You catch it in the spirit. Because it's not in gymnastics, but it's in revelation. Are you hearing me? That's why Paul says in Ephesians, I pray that you may receive the spirit of revelation. Are you hearing me? Revelation. Because when you are praising God, you need to praise him in revelation. Not because they are good instruments. Not because there's a good drama. Not because Sister Tokas is a good singer. You understand God by revelation. There is a connection in the spirit. Where the Joker sings, where the Susan sings, I will bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within me, bless his whole name, it's by revelation. Oh, come on somebody, come on somebody, come on somebody, come on somebody. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. And he texts me in the book of Job. When Job was about to die, the Bible says his wife came. And he says, can you just kiss God and you die? What is wrong with Job's wife? She is in the flesh. 
she is in the flesh people who are in the flesh they will tell you to stop giving tight people in the flesh they will stop and tell you to stop working talent they will tell you stop going to church because they are in the flesh but job says ah human shut up your mouth i know god i know who i save somebody shout hallelujah Just go and die. And he says, I'm not going anyway. Naked I came. Naked I'm going back. Then he says, blessed be the name of the Lord. Uh, okay, can I come there? Can I come there? Blessed be the name of the Lord. Are you hearing me? Ah, uh, whims all over his body. But he says, blessed be. Ah, baby, that revelation. That revelation. That revelation. Can I go deeper? Can I go deeper? Can I go deeper? Shut the me shake the bed, nigga. Shut the me shake the bed, nigga. Bow down to our God. If you do not bow down to our God, we will put you in the blast furnace of fire. And they said, Nebuchadnezzar, be it known, O king, that we will not bow down to your God. Our God is able to deliver us. Our God is able to set us free. Can I go a little bit deeper? Can I go deeper? Then he says, but... You got it. But our God is able to deliver us. But uh, come on, is this this uh, are, are you getting what I'm saying? But even if he does not deliver us, we will come in the present worship. Even if uh, he does not heal us, uh, we will bless his name. Uh, somebody shout here. Yeah! Uh, there's some people tonight uh, who did not receive their miracle, but they are still here. Uh, there's some people tonight uh, who are sick, uh, but they are still here. Even if uh, I will save God. that's why Paul says rejoice in the Lord I say rejoice black or white rejoice in the Lord rainy season rejoice in the Lord even if I will bless the name of the Lord you come to church because your bank account has got money you don't know god you come to church because your husband is faithful you don't know god we have got some ladies who have got crazy husbands but they still come to church and they serve god they still serve god that's revelation I'm tired of believers who are busy giving God conditions. Conditioning God. If you do not bless me, I will not go to prayer. If you do not heal me, I will go to prayer. My oh, listen, listen to this. Then you are not God. If I don't get a promotion, then you are not God. Uh, listen to me, sweetheart. Before you were born, he has been God. Uh, you don't make him God. Whether he does it or he doesn't do it, he remains caught. So you, you, you got to change your attitude towards God. And say, God, I know you. But if you, even if you don't do it, I will keep believing. I will keep believing. I will keep believing. It's a level of revelation. But when you are in the flesh, 
you will go at the pick slide and say it doesn't work but tonight i'm preaching to people who say it's gonna work it's gonna work it may be not today but it's gonna work 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 somebody shot you I prophesy it may not work today but it will work it may not work this month but it will work revelation revelation Rapakatayaba. we come to church poor but it will work we come to church broke but it will work we come to church sick, but it will work, cause we know God. Somebody shout hallelujah. It will work. It will work. God is so funny, cause he closes every door to want to see your attitude. I, God closes every door to see your attitude. When you go to God loving things more than him, he closes doors to fix you so that you may love him more than things. Are you hearing me? You must go to God saying, okay, God, even if you don't want to give me, I understand, but you are still God. Not forcing God, abusing God. Holding God with an ear, come do it. Whether you like it or not, you are going to do it. God is not a small boy. God is not your boy. He is God. He is the great I am. Somebody shout here. Can I continue? Can I continue? Even if Talking about revelation, we, we are going to Peter. We are going to Peter. Even if he does not, we will not bow down to God. That did not change the challenge. Actually, actually, the fire was doubled. Just because they said our God is able, Satan says, I'm going to fix you more. Have you ever been in a situation whereby after you finish fasting, the problem becomes more worse? Oh, I don't know, but I am one of those. You fast for somebody and that person dies. You pray for somebody and they die. And you ask yourself, what is this? Listen to me, I have got an answer for you. My ways are not your ways. My thoughts are not your thoughts. I am God. Somebody say, I love you, Lord. Sahate Nebuchadnezzar commands, he says, double the fire. Double the fire. Me, I don't prophesy lies to people. I don't prophesy pleasing people. Telling people that next week you are going to have a Lamborghini. Ah uh ah. -uh. I don't prophesy lies. When God tells me that, tell him there is trouble coming. I will tell you, get ready, trouble is coming. But his grace is sufficient for you. His grace is with you. Are you hearing me, somebody? Tap the fire. And the fire was doubled. And the three boys. Can I have three boys? Can I use the puppet? Is it okay? Even men. Stand there. Stand there. Stand down there. Ah, Rabba, look at your neighbor. Say, Ah, Tayasa. I'm prophesying to somebody. Say, Ko Rabba Satere. Come on, speak in tongues. Speak in tongues. Because now it's getting deeper. It's getting deeper. It's getting deeper. Shut the mischief and the bed, nigga. They know their God more than they know the fire. They don't talk about the fire, but they talk about their God. Stop talking about the fire. Talk about the God. Stop talking about Nebuchadnezzar. Hey, Nebuchadnezzar. Hey, Nebuchadnezzar. God is bigger than Nebuchadnezzar. God has highly exalted him and given him a name 
that is above any other name. Somebody shout glory! And the fire was doubled. I'm tired of believers who are here because things are okay. I'm tired of believers who are here because things are moving. You are not a believer. I'm, I'm looking for believers who are in fire. Yeah. But they keep on putting on their makeup. And they come to church. And they don't, share, they don't show they are in fire. A revelation, baby. Yeah, they keep on putting on their suits. But they are in trouble. Are you hearing me? Because they are not destined. They are not ruled by trouble. They dominate trouble. They dominate problems. Are you hearing me, somebody? I need believers who look good in fire. I'm looking for believers who preach in fire. I'm looking for believers who play players in fire. Somebody shout, yeah! the fire i'm sorry but you're going to lie down they doubled the fire and they were thrown thrown in the fire go in the fire they were thrown in the fire go inside the fire Parabakata. revelation because knowing god does not stop problems knowing god does not stop trouble are you hearing me ah uh, problems come ah uh, come on somebody come on the more you know god uh, the more problems come uh, the more you serve god uh, the more problems come uh, problems don't stop uh, because you are anointed uh, actually when you are anointed uh, trouble comes uh, when you are blessed uh, trouble comes uh, somebody shouts yeah don't come especially when you're saving God problems don't come to ordinary people that's why I don't want to play with the people who have not been in fire people who have not been in fire they don't understand the fire language because there's a language of fire ah, there is a language of fire the language of fire that David says if it wasn't for against me when you go to a person whom the enemy has never risen against they will tell you it's because you are a sinner you don't pray too much but those who have been in fire they understand the language of the fire they will tell you the lord is my shepherd i shall not water though i walk through the valley of the ah, though i walk Though I walk in the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for the Lord is with me. Oh, I'm loving this. The Bible does not say, though I sit in the valley. It doesn't say, though I sit. It says, though I walk, which means I'm passing through. I'm going out. I may be in the fire, but I'm going out. I prophesy to somebody, after five days from now, you are coming out. You are shining in the fire. Can I have a chair? Can I have a chair? Rabakata. Stand up, stand up. Go there. Go there, go there. How many are feeling it? How many are feeling it? Because when they were outside, there were three. But when they were inside, there was a fourth man. Okay, let me take you a bit deeper. Where was the fourth man? He was waiting for them. Because your breakthrough and your anointing 
is not outside it's in the fire fire oh shabakata fire come on shabari come on shabari your joy your breakthrough your promotion is in the fire i don't know why you are praying for the fire not to come that's a wrong prayer you gotta pray that lord though i'm thrown in the fire i must survive i must survive i must survive i must survive weeping may endure for a night but I comes in the morning walk around walk around in the fire the fourth man in the fire the fourth man in the fire ah can i have church can i have church the fourth man in the fire they are not walking alone they are not walking alone there is a fourth man tonight i prophesy you are in fire you are not alone there is a fourth man revelation 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 we dance in the fire we dance in the fire we praise in the fire we worship in the fire revelation revelation oh my god oh my god you have to love the fire because it's in the fire you have to embrace the fire because it's in the fire it's not outside the fire flesh and blood has not revealed this but my father has revealed this oh peter you are a rock and upon this rock i will build my church and no gates of hell shall prevail i prophesy the gates of hell shall not prevail Blowing down your cheeks, but you are still intact. Sleepless nights, but you are still intact. When they say next Sunday she's not coming, then they see you next Sunday she's there. She's still intact. When they say next month she's not coming, they see her on Sunday she's still there. When they say he won't preach again, then they see him on Sunday. The devil will have a heart attack upon this church. No gates of hell. Oh my God. Oh my God. Can you walk around? Can you walk around? Can you walk around? Where, where are they walking? In the fire. And those who are outside the fire. The Bible says the fire went out and it burnt them. Because when you don't understand, brother, you'll be burnt. You'll be burnt. You... So to spare your life, then you gotta join them. Join them who are in the fire, who are walking in the fire. Because you have seen something in the fire. That if they can survive in the fire, then I can also survive in the fire. Stop complaining, because your breakthrough is in the fire. Can I preach to somebody? Is there a Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego? You will survive in the fire. You will get your degree in the fire. You will get your diploma in the fire. You will buy your house in the fire. You will wait in the fire. Somebody shout here! You will survive. You will survive. You will survive. Lift up your hands. You will survive in the fire. You will survive in the fire. Raise up your voices.
Oh my God. Oh my God. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Because the devil said you will die there. But you ain't gonna die there. The devil says your marriage will die there. But it won't die there. You will survive. In the fire. No gates of hell shall prevail. No gates of hell shall prevail. The prophetic is too much. The prophetic is too much. The prophetic is too much. Eh, masaka yataya. Pasanda. Revelation. Revelation. Not flesh and blood, but revelation. Flesh and blood has not revealed this, but revelation. Lift up your hands and begin to speak in tongues. Speak in tongues. Wherever you are, speak in tongues. Yaba Sanda Yakatayaba. I prophesy you. No gates of hell shall prevail. No gates of hell shall prevail. I'm looking for people who are saying I'm going to worship him I'm going to praise him in the fire because something is about to happen right now I said something is about to happen right now flesh and blood is not revealed this unto you but my father in heaven is revealing something I don't know who I'm preaching to, but I'm preaching to somebody who is in trouble. Somebody who is in a problem. But who says, I will not die. I will survive in the fight. Yes! Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, raise up your voice. Come on, raise up your voice.